This episode brought to you by Virtual Shield VPN. If you're like me and you value your privacy from the government and big tech, you need Virtual Shield VPN. Check out the links in the description or the pinned comment. Remember before Donald Trump won the election and the Democrat Party state media, along with Hillary Clinton, insisted that if he didn't accept election results, it would be an attack on democracy. Well, Trump won, and as it turns out, they were the one who questioned election results, and they were the ones who attacked democracy. Democracy hacked? Did Russia want Trump in the White House? Did Russian hacking help Donald Trump win? The CIA says the Kremlin tried to swing the election to Donald Trump. There's no disagreement about Russia hacking the election. The intelligence community, the FBI, Democrats and Republicans believe that Russia hacked the election. The CIA has concluded the Russians intervened to help elect Donald Trump. That is where they are in this issue now, that Russia was Behind, was was not only interfering, but was trying to deliver this election to Donald Trump. This very real skepticism about how legitimate was this election. But it wasn't simply that Russia uh, uh, got engaged or involved in hacking the election, but did so to to favor Trump. I think this is a constitutional crisis. I mean, is was the president legitimately elected? What it suggests potentially is that the election was in some sense illegitimate that Trump in any way is an illegitimate president because of the Russian involvement. I mean, the Electoral College before the 19th has got to know whether the Russians had an effect. The Electoral College should behave as it was designed to behave and as it was explained by Alexander Hamilton in the Federalist Papers. It should deny him an Electoral College victory. I'd like to see the evidence, because if the evidence is there, I don't see any other way than to, to vote again. I mean, I, as an American citizen. You see, what they're doing here is so stupid and obvious. They're just setting it up so that anytime a Republican wins, they can just say the Russians did it. And when a Democrat wins, they can give the all clear. Conservative media is fueling President Trump's baseless claims of widespread election fraud. The nation's top federal election infrastructure agency says this year's election was, quote, the most secure in history. This year, experts are more confident that I think it is safe to say this is the most secure election we've ever held in the United States. Now, Brian, it's just the altern uh, the alternate universe. Yeah writ large there. Two parallel Americas. Uh, it cannot be more stark. And there's no one in charge. No one in charge except President Trump setting the tone and then others falling in line. There's no one at Fox News that is saying, this is crazy, this is irresponsible, this is dangerous. Because really, can we trust either man? No, we can't. Trump simply cannot be trusted. At the same time, Trump opponents will speculate that he's really a Russian agent having a meeting with his handler, betraying America. In a statement, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency said, quote, there is no evidence any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. It's not a surprise, but still, years into this presidency, uh, I find it shockingly disappointing uh, that he still would continue to erode uh, faith that the American people have in institutions. What is going on right now is a clean and fair election and there is no evidence to the contrary. The only thing he didn't do was pull off his wig and reveal that he's been Vlad Putin all along. It was a litany of lies, threats, just a despicable and incoherent attack on democracy in the United States. This isn't just a case of hurt feelings or wounded egos. This is the beating heart of Trumpism, the paranoid authoritarian belief that your political opponents are illegitimate. The paranoid, authoritarian belief that your political opponents are illegitimate. You have this very real skepticism about how legitimate was this election. I think this is a constitutional crisis. I mean, is was the president legitimately elected? What it suggests potentially is that the election was in some sense illegitimate. That Trump in any way is an illegitimate president because of the Russian involvement? No, I'm not psychic. These people and their tactics are just very obvious and very predictable. That's all for this one. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so using one of the links in the description or the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.